What I'd like to do, Sue, is actually just read this short extract from my Please, memoirs because yeah. it, it, it will stop me from going off on a tangent, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Excuse me. So uh, the hierarchical and illogical behaviour of some of the staff was starting to get me down. The final straw was getting into trouble with the sister of a postnatal ward for becoming too involved without her permission. It concerned an older middle-class woman who was both depressed and struggling to breastfeed her baby. I spent some time at her bedside, successfully helping the baby to suckle at last. The mother was very exhausted and her depression developed into the more severe mental illness of purple psychosis. She was transferred to a psychiatric unit in a different part of the city. After some time, her husband, a journalist, contacted me saying that his wife wanted to see me. I went and was delighted to see the improvement in her state of mind and how well she was bonding with her child. On my return to the hospital, I was summoned to see the ward sister and shocked when she gave me a dreadful dressing down. Mm. A friend of hers at the psychiatric unit had informed her of my visit. All I can remember her saying repeatedly was, just who do you think you are? Who gave you permission to visit her? It seemed to be such a daft and unjust admonition that after her dismissal of my initial response concerning the husband's request, it seemed better to just keep quiet. Once out of her office, I struggled to stop the tears from running down my face and felt a sense of blackness surrounding me. There was no way that I wanted to continue my studies and I decided to look into how to become a health visitor. The idea of working in the community and visiting families in their own homes to promote health appealed to me much more than working in a hospital. In the meantime, continuing with French classes, I, I always wanted to improve mm. my French. Uh, continuing with French classes at the Institut Francais helped to lessen my feelings of depression. One day I saw a small announcement on the notice board stating that a family living near Paris was seeking a person to speak English to their two children. My mind was made up. This would be my next move. Around the same time, while walking along the hospital corridor, the matron stopped me in my tracks. She asked me why I was looking so despondent and lo and behold, the tears started flowing again. So she invited me to come to her office and over a cup of tea asked me why I had changed so much from the cheerful student of six months ago. I was amazed that she even knew me never mind the degree of sympathy and support she offered. So I just told her all my problems. Firstly, she said she would speak to the sister in question, as I had been quite right to visit the psychiatric unit. Then she proceeded to inquire about my future plans and promised to give me a reference when I applied to become a health visitor. She reassured me that the obstetric experience I had gained at the hospital was sufficient to meet the requirements of the course. Finally, she told me to apply for the job in Paris and to let her know the outcome. When I heard that the job was mine, she was one of the first to offer her congratulations and wish me well in France. So, in December 1969, at the age of 22 years, I was about to embark on my first ever experience of living abroad. Mm. Thanks for watching this video from the Maternity and Midwifery Forum. For more expert opinion and analysis, hit the button below to subscribe.